Good morning everyone. My name is Ye Prasuna. In today our topic is 10 Gehla experiment. Bohr and Sommerfeld doesn't explain alkali's petal doublet. And this is explained by the Sten and Geller by using space quantization and electron spin. And when coming to our topic and coming to our experiment, let us consider an oven bow which contains uh, silver atoms. And these silver atoms are emitted in different emitted in different directions and these are culminated to slits s1 and s2 and let us consider two magnetic poles and one pole is so let us say that as a south pole it is flat surface and another pole is um, knife edge is sharp knife edge this is specially designed pole due to this one in homogeneous magnetic field is produced and um, due to inhomogeneous magnetic field, two doublet lines are detected at the detector. First of all, we have to know what is meant, what is meant by inhomogeneous. And inhomogeneous means in not, not in uniform because these are magnets. So magnetic field will be established all over the surface and due to inhomogeneous magnetic field is not in uniform so that it is uh, magnetic field two spectral lines are detected at the de detector when coming to our, when coming to this topic south pole and north pole we will will explain in schematic representation this is the flat surface this is so this is the flat surface say north the south pole and this is the knife this is a sharp knife sharp knife edge and magnetic lines are flow from north pole to south pole when coming to this one if we apply if we apply magnetic field if it doesn't if it doesn't apply mag any magnetic field we we observe the pattern we observe the pattern like this in which is explained which is shown at the, shown at the shown at point 1 in the presence of non uniform in the presence of inhomogeneous magnetic field we observe the we observe the field pattern as like this in classical when coming to classical pattern we all we all observe this pattern like this the splitting of these lines will verify the space quantization and electron spin the stern gerlach experiment performed in 1922 delivered the first experimental proof of the fascinating degree of freedom of an electron spin a beam of silver atoms was generated in an atomic beam furnace it was then sent towards an inhomogeneous magnetic field according to classical physics one would expect the magnetic moments of silver atoms to be randomly oriented. They should be deflected in the inhomogeneous magnetic field by different amounts, depending on their orientation. However, the researchers observed that the beam was split in two possible states, which were later named spin up and spin down. Expression of displacement of an atom along field direction. Let us consider an atomic magnet which is placed in non-homo in homogeneous field. And here P is the pole strength and B is the magnetic field. At in homogeneous magnetic field, that means this, let us say that it is north pole. And here the magnetic field is gradient is dB, gradient is dB by dy. And let us draw, draw a graph of between the x-axis and y-axis and the inhomogeneous field is along the y direction. Le First of all, the, the atomic magnet is placed in straight line li like this. When it is placed in inhomogeneous field, it automatically moves in a uh, it moves from straight line with theta angle and length L. Here the force adds on the one pole, that means here the force adds on the south pole is PV and the force adds on the north pole at B plus dV by dy L cos theta is that multiplies with P and then, it, then the force along the y direction is P, PL cos theta dV by dy and here we say that we are considered 
PL is equals to M. M is a magnetic moment. In let us uh, and let us consider displacement dy. We we know that S is equals to U T plus half A T square. And at the end time t is equal to zero. Then we consider only half half a t is half a t is square, where a is equal to alpha, whatever it may be, the whatever it may be. And from the Newton second law, s is equal to m a, a is equal to f by m. And we know that t is equal to l by v. When uh, half alpha by uh, alpha by plus law, the formula is the f by by m. F y represents the force along y direction, and t square plus t square plus y l by v whole square. From equation from equation one, that means from equation one, f y is equal to m cos theta dv by dy, and these are substituted in this equation. F y f y plus y substitute as them of m cos theta dv by dy by m into l by v whole square. असलो डिस्प्लेसमेंट मैं एन फैंड चेयरि डिस्प्लेसमेंट एन कटे इकड फस्ट सैट लाइन लाइफ मूवई मूवे अच्छी वाल्यू अंत मूव आ मूव अव डबल मन मुं चूस डबल एट फॉर्म अक्सप्लेन द स्पेस क्वांटेशन अंड इलेक्ट्रॉन स्क्रीन सक्सेफुली थैंक यू